Welcome back to The Drawing Board, brought to you by CyberArk. I'm Emma Telpe, and joining us to talk about endpoint privilege controls is Andre Pashogan from the CyberArk product marketing team. Thank you, Emma. Glad to be here. So let me ask you this question. Why is it that while companies spend more and more on all kinds of security products, the number of successful breaches also goes up? Well, clearly, something's got to be missing from the equation. You're spot on. And what's missing are the controls for managing privilege at the endpoint. Without those controls, your security efforts basically end. Because once a user has successfully gained privileges on the machine, they can access any data, install any software, and have enough power to tamper with any applications deployed on their machines. Of course, attackers keep creating problems. But at this point, even a legitimate unsuspecting user could accidentally cause an issue. Or they could be misled into performing a malicious action by an attacker without even realizing this. And that includes... Tampering with existing endpoint security. Yep. Basically, one moment you have all of your shields up and the next, no shields at all. A surprise to be sure, but not a welcome one. The best practice is no regular user should have local admin rights. The potential risks are just too great. But in reality, quite a few organizations still allow this. But why? Don't they believe in least privilege or giving users only the minimum levels of access to do their jobs? They do. But it's not easy being infosec. The road to least privilege requires balance. Yes, you need to remove local admin rights but you also must ensure that businesses remain nimble. So some organizations choose convenience, keeping local admin rights in place. Easier, but full of risk. And frankly, security professionals sometimes dread these projects because they know end users are worried about any changes that could be barriers to productivity and can be very vocal about it. But what if I told you that you can remove local admin rights while improving the user experience. Emma and I are going to highlight five steps to achieve this balance. Number one, remove local admin rights. This is the single most effective best practice for the endpoint security. Experts recommend tackling it before taking on any other security projects. I know, we just said this was hard to do, but not if you rely on the right tools. Look for capabilities that allow you to remove local admin rights instantly and replace them with auto elevation and discovery policies. That way, you'll gain immediate security benefits, but users won't feel like they're impacted in any way. And that takes us to number two, enforce least privilege. You need the ability to set policies for granting or denying permissions on an application level. Look for application control tool that allows you to create conditional and comprehensive policies for every user group from HR to DevOps. Your endpoint privilege manager should be able to account for an application execution chain, context, parameters, and attributes. So you can allow or block specific scripts, applications, or DLLs. This is where you make the decisions about the least privilege, which applications are needed and which you should block completely or partially. Now let's talk about number three, defend credentials. Simply put, credential theft enables attackers to move laterally and is a major part of every breach. So you'll need the ability to defend credentials in credential stores. This can help you disarm such high-impact attack methods as Golden Ticket, Golden Samuel, and more. And speaking of threats, we have to mention number four, protect against ransomware, which is often quite tricky. As we discussed in our drawing board episode on ransomware, which you can also watch on cyberarc.com, you need to ensure that only trusted applications, designated content handlers, can access your sensitive data. And that takes us to number five. What's number five? Get pizza. Lots of it. Thinking back, there was a customer implementation with tens of thousands of users. The company's endpoint security admins needed to set up learning policies to create a registry of software run by users and specifically software that requires elevation. On a Sunday, they called in everyone from IT, 
ordered a ton of pizzas, and they sat down to go through the list, set policies to run applications normally, elevate them or block them. They also identified the content handlers that are allowed to access the data. And then they removed local admin rights. Any complaints from users? Nada, nothing, zero. I'm told IT came to work on Monday, waited for the phones to ring, but very few users noticed changes. And that is how you achieve the balance between greater endpoint security and workforce agility. So to wrap up, with the right controls for managing privilege at the endpoint, your organization can defend against threats and ensure user productivity. Thanks for watching The Drawing Board. To learn more about how CyberArk is helping organizations manage endpoint privilege, visit CyberArk.com. See you next time.